What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a senior interventional radiology resident physician slash fellow. I'm in my sixth and final year of training. And on today's video, we are going to be talking about how I manage my full-time career as a doctor and also a YouTuber. Let's get into it. So before we get in this video, I wanted to prove my worth as a YouTuber. I may have gotten something in the mail, which is what all great YouTubers have gotten at one point in their career. This makes me an official YouTuber and I'll show you why. I've been super excited about this. It's kind of like a milestone you reach while being on YouTube and I've seen other people open them, but I'm just really excited. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Nothing. A nice letter from YouTube. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. But this is what we came for. This is the official 100,000 subscriber plaque. As you see here, the silver play button. I passed 100,000 subscribers. Dr. Cellini engraved on it. This is going to be going in my studio that I'm building right now. So I just wanna give a quick thanks to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I literally wouldn't be making these videos without you guys. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I can't tell you how much this means to me to reach this 100,000 subscriber milestone. Crazy. I mean, I just started making these videos overnight on diagnostic radiology residency and here I am sitting at like 130,000 subscribers. Crazy to me. So thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you. Also, I promised you all a giveaway coming very soon. I've reached out to a couple of companies and I have some pretty good items for you all for the giveaway. So my 100,000 subscriber giveaway may be around like 150,000 subscribers, but either way it's coming. And I just want to say thank you. And I just wanted to prove you all that I am a YouTuber by this plaque right here. So that can talk about what we're talking about in today's video. All right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about on how I manage my time as a doctor and YouTuber is probably the most important tip I have for you all. I've said this time and time again in all of my videos, and that is you must, you don't have to, but it's good practice to just set your alarm and wake up early on a daily basis. I've said on prior videos that waking up early is just a way to kind of get your mind into this groove of getting things done. So back in med school, I've spoken about many times when I used to go to the library around 5.30, 6 a.m. with my cup of coffee, or stake my claim and just start studying aggressively the entire day. And I think for some reason, when you just get up before everybody else, start grinding, you just get in that mode early. I can't really explain it, but your mind is just so focused and so sharp first thing in the morning. I feel like you can just kind of get things done. Most of you all know that I've adapted this technique when I was in residency where I would always at least wake up early and try to work out. Even though I didn't have to be at work until around 8 a.m., I would always get up at about 5 to 5.30, take care of some business, go work out, enjoy my coffee in the morning, and then go to work later on. I wasn't even studying for anything at the time or do anything. It's just my little time where I can just enjoy my coffee, oftentimes with Andriana. We can just sit there, go through some emails, go through some work, and do all the stuff we wanna take care of before we go to work. That way, when I come home after work, I can really just kind of relax and veg out. And it may come at no surprise that almost every successful person has an early wake up routine. Most CEOs who are exorbitantly wealthy have an early 5 a.m. or 5.30 wake up call. And the reason is they just start work before everybody else is up. It clearly is working out for them and that's kind of who I want to follow and emulate. Now I'm currently in fellowship, working 12, 15 plus hour days. I you know, leave to go to work about 6.30 and get home sometimes at 8, 8.30. And I still wake up early at about 5.15 to have a cup of coffee. And what I do in that time is I answer all of my emails because managing YouTube business and also working 80 to 100 hours a week and my full-time job as a interventional radiology fellow is not that easy. So finding time is crucial. And I've noticed that if I just wake up early before I go into work, I can either answer emails 
I can look up patients for the day. And if I don't have anything going on that day, I can just hang out and drink coffee with Andrana. And she's even kind of adapted this wake up early tactic as well. And it's just kind of our protected time to just hang out, enjoy coffee together and do whatever we need to do before we go to work. And a lot of people think that if I wake up this early, I must be tired all the time. But that's really not the case because your body kind of adjusts to this new kind of schedule and it just becomes the new normal. Just give it a try for a few weeks you won't go back to the whole sleeping in. I haven't slept in since, I can't even remember the last time I slept in. I haven't slept in past 10 a.m. and probably since college. And weekends are no different for me. We still wake up at about 6 to 6.30 on the weekends. I don't know why, I guess I'm just kind of stuck in this routine, but I like doing that as well. Even if I have nothing to do on the weekends, waking up early and having nothing to do is almost better than waking up and doing things, especially in this new apartment which I'll show you all later. And to wake up and watch the sun rise in the morning and just have a cup of coffee is something I'll probably never get sick of. So tip number one, wake up early. So the second way I manage my time as a doctor in YouTube, it may help you all as a nice tip, is that I try to set a schedule. And I know that's a pretty broad topic and I'm not a super type A person. I don't plan that much, but it's nice to have a rough idea of what you need to do throughout the week. It's hard for me to kind of balance everything between residency and fellowship and also running this full-time YouTube career because in the YouTube space, you have tons of advertisers who are wanting to do advertisements on your channel. And I try not to do too many. And it's not because, you know, I don't want to per se, it's just that Doing these advertisements takes a lot of time and I don't have too much time to do them at this current situation. So yes, it is nice to do advertisements on my channel. It can be pretty rigorous at times and oftentimes they want you to post on certain days or certain times of the week. And if I don't keep that straight, I start thinking about I'm gonna miss something overnight and then I just lose sleep over it. So if you compile this whole YouTube thing and then also think about everything I have to do in the hospital, see patients, review patients' charts, look up patients I'm doing procedures on that day. And we still have a whole educational component because I'm in my last year of residency and fellowship. I have to do presentations and present patients and do a whole bunch of notes, read up on procedures because I'm still learning this whole craft. If I don't kind of schedule the YouTube advertisements and all this patient stuff, it's kind of too hard to manage. I lay out advertisements if I do them and I also lay out what kind of presentations I need to make for the week. And then I make what videos I need to make for the week and when I'm going to make them. And I write scripts for them in advance and I film them. Sometimes I batch film them or film them in bulk and we release them throughout the next week or the next week after that. So I try to plan everything accordingly because otherwise I, I wanna keep making videos, but if I don't plan ahead, I may be too busy one week to even film for, you know, 10 minutes. Schedule's where it's at, keeps me on point and without it, I wouldn't be sleeping. So the third thing I do to help me kind of coordinate this life as a full-time doctor and YouTuber kind of goes with what I just said on the previous one, but I try to plan out my videos. So I batch them into different days of the week and plan them ahead of time. So what I mean by that is I will write scripts for a few videos that I plan on filming. And then one Saturday morning, I'll get up and I'll film like two or three videos and have them edited for the next weeks to come. If I get in a bind and work where I'm on call for a whole seven days and have zero time to do anything, then I can still have them scheduled on my YouTube to release on a timely matter usually like Tuesday or Wednesday and Saturdays. And I don't have to worry about it. I just set it and forget it. I do all the work up front, schedule it for the next coming weeks and go about my work week. Is it tough? 100%. What can you do? This is what I signed up for. I love making content for you all and you guys clearly like it too. I don't care how hard it is. All right, so the next way I manage my time is I kind of ask for help. So without help, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. And I've reached kind of a point in my career on YouTube where trying to film all these videos and edit them, which takes, you know, two to three hours of video sometimes and do the thumbnails and everything, it kind of has gotten to the point where I can't keep up while working 100 hours a week in residency. I'm just starting to find editors to edit my own videos. So if I can just film a batch of videos and send them off to an editor and have them ready for me to post the next week or so, it's going to take a huge load and burden off of me. Let me focus on my residency. Ultimately, learning the last year of residency is the most important thing in my life right now. This is secondary, but I can still kind of do both as long as I have some help. 
And along those lines, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the tons and tons of help I get from my wife because I literally wouldn't be able to do any of this without her. She does so much, I can't even begin to realize. Has dinner ready a whole bunch of times. She makes me snacks before I go to work. Cleans the house sometimes while I'm not here. You name it. I mean, she's like a lifesaver and I wouldn't be able to do literally any of this without her. And she's also doing it while she works full-time two jobs currently. So sometimes I think I work hard, but she's like on another level. So if you're trying to do something like this, I recommend you find an amazing spouse which isn't as easy as it sounds. I just got lucky. So the last thing I do to kind of help me manage my time in both careers is the two minute rule. Now I know some of you all have heard of this and I try to abide by this rule as much as possible, but I pretty much fail at it like 99% of the time. Do as I say, not as I do. But the two minute rule is basically if a task comes upon you that could take less than two minutes to do, you should do it immediately because you can take care of it just like that. Because if you put it off, you're likely going to put it off for a very long time and it may take you longer in the future. For instance, if I get an email from a company wanting to do an advertisement, I should just go ahead and respond immediately as I get it. I'm often at work like in between procedures when I check my emails or my messages. So I'm usually bouncing to a chart or doing a brief op note or something and I don't really have time to respond in that two minutes. So I usually just leave it as unread and what I'll do is on the weekend or when I get home from work at night, I'll just respond to a huge batch of emails. That seems to work out for me, but for other people who aren't working 100 hours a week, you should probably do it within the two minutes. It's just hard in my current situation. So on that note, that concludes this video. This is how I managed my full-time career as a doctor in my last year of training and also a full-time YouTuber. It's quite a whirlwind, but somehow I manage it all. I don't know. If I can do it, you can do it too. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.